Hey, what's up? Jason Kimbrough, and I'm the campus pastor in Fayetteville, and I'm happy to be with you today. Psalm chapter 4, verse 3. Psalm chapter 4, verse 3, just a little bit of context. David wrote this psalm. David uh, was a man after God's own heart. He was chosen to be king. He was anointed by Samuel. He was the person that no one would ever choose, no one would ever pick to be a king or to be a leader. And God often chooses people that don't have it going on on the outside, but they have it going on on the inside. And that's what God did with David. And David became a great king. He did make some mistakes, some very big mistakes that, that really gave him a lot of guilt and conviction so much guilt that he could feel it in his body. He could feel it in his bones. He could feel the guilt and the shame of the mistakes that he had made. And a lot of us can relate with that. I know that I can, uh, but he was forgiven. And But this, this Psalm, Psalm 4, and the, the Psalm before it, Psalm 3, is when he's writing these, these Psalms and these verses because his son is chasing him to kill him. His name was Absalom. And so he's, he's being chased. He's already been chased by King Saul. He's already had a lot of other stuff happen. Now he's being chased by his son. His son's trying to kill him. And in Psalm 4, verse 8, it says, I will lie down in peace for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. You alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. And I just think this is a really powerful verse because maybe we can't relate with our son chasing us and trying to murder us, but we can relate with other things that cause us to not sleep well at night. They cause us not to be at rest, not to be at peace. We have other things that are going on. We have promises that are not fulfilled yet. We have anxious thoughts about money. We have anxious thoughts about uh, our children, those of us that have kids. We have anxious thoughts about uh, if we're gonna ever be married. We have, we have thoughts and uh, there's a war in our mind and sometimes there's just, there's things that are undone. I don't know about you, but I don't like things being undone. I like to have answers. I like to have solutions. I like to, I like to have solutions to the problems in life. And, and what's hard for me sometimes is taking a deep breath and just resting in God that I don't have to have all the answers to sleep well at night. And I just love the confidence and the trust that David had in God that he says, you know what, I'm going to lie down tonight. I'm going to go to sleep. And I'm going to have peace because God is my protector. God is my defender. God is my provider. And I will never have all the answers. I, it will never be up to me and my strength. It reminds me of Philippians 4. I'm going to just turn over there real quick. In Philippians 4, the Apostle Paul wrote this letter to the church at Philippi. And what's unique about this letter is he wrote it from uh, jail, which back then was basically a dungeon. He was chained to a prison guard. And I don't know what you'd be doing if you were in jail, but I don't know if I'd be like having a heart for the church to write a letter to the church. I'd probably be crying or bad attitude. But he writes this letter. And in, in chapter four, uh, verse six, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And check this out in verse seven. He says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And what an awesome, awesome passage of Scripture. My first sermon I ever preached, I preached on this passage because I have had such, over the years, I've had such a hard time being at peace in my own soul, my own mind. Uh, and I don't know if you're like, I don't know if you can relate with that, but these are two incredible verses that I think that we should all memorize. We should put them on our mirror at our house, in our bathroom. We should put them on our dashboard or our car because it's going to help us. Let's lean on the Word of God. Let's remember it. Let's get it in our hearts. Let's meditate on it. And let's sleep well knowing that God is God. We'll see you.